Hello, in this dark programming video, I am going to show you how to iterate a collection. That just means how to go over every single value in the collection in a simple generic fashion that works with all of the collection data types. So have make sure you've got you know some sort of collection created, doesn't matter what it is. I'm using a list, but it could be something else like a set or a queue. And I'll leave this here, which just prints out the list as it is. And what we need to do is create an iterator. So iterator, and I'm going to just call it itr equals, and you want to put the name of the the name of the collection. So in this case, it's the list epic list dot iterator, and this is what we're going to be using to go over the loop. I mean, to loop over the values. We just put a while loop, then we put itr dot move next which just moves to the next value if there is one and this is dynamic so you'll just keep going through it as you know as long as there's another value and to get this current value we just do itr dot current so this will change every single time this is a property and we can just print this out like so And you see, yeah, one, two, three, four, and sixty-seven. So, so you want to just square them, for example. You could do that, or we'll get, you know, is that correct? Three don't look right to me. Let me try something else. Ah. Do, 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 do. I'm seeing what the issue is. I'm doing itr current twice. So instead, if I do this, int result equals equals itr dot current. So if you want to use it multiple times, just make sure you do something like this: result result, and now we should get. The right value one, four, nine, sixteen, and four hundred four hundred eighty nine. So that's how you generically iterate, aka go over every single element inside of a collection. Simple stuff, but really useful. It's dynamic, doesn't matter what the size is. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.